Hey guys, so today we're gonna to talk about our favorite styles of sunglasses. Sunglasses are very personal. It's kind of like what defines you in the <laughs> summer. You know, like you can wear, it's kind of like a watch for your eyes, honestly. Does yeah. that make sense? Like it, it kind of gives you a little flair personality, a yeah. little bit of, you know, showmanship. You can get a little flashy with it. So today we kind of got an array of different styles from, you know, for every type of guy. Yeah, from the classic to the more, I guess you could say, loud, loud and luxurious. We, we have it all. With that, you know, um, I couldn't I couldn't come on here and talk about sunglasses if I didn't bring a club master. Right. Everybody knows that, you know. I'm a I'm a huge fan. You're a huge fan too. I am. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, it's a little different. It's more it's I guess you're more mature sunglass. Um I just like it because it's so versatile again. Being from LA, I'm able to wear these all day, almost 365 days. Right. I mean this these look good going to the office as good as they look going to the beach. Yeah, it, you know. There you go. I usually wear them dressed up like you said, in the suit, and it really brings the suit together. It makes it look more, um, I guess, sharp. Yeah, right? little, yeah. I mean, even a little, like a little relaxed, like you don't seem so tight when you got cool sunglasses, you kind of, you know, yeah. cool guy. Yeah, and I'm very uptight, so. And <laughs> yeah, so this is like, yeah, this is my go-to. This is something I recommend. There's a lot of companies making various forms. Um, these are just the classic Ray-Ban. You, you can get Clubmaster anywhere from 10 bucks to about 300 bucks. Right. And I mean, these are obviously a little more casual. Yeah, this is this is my more European touch to sunglasses. Um, has a, I guess, the plastic frame. Mm -hmm. Very different than metal. Uh, this is more relaxed, I think. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, this is again really big, like in like an Italy. I mean, and the bold color kind of makes a statement. As yeah, well. I, I like this for summer. Exactly. Yeah, so I like this for summer, and I normally pair it with blue. Blue so, and yellow. Blue yeah. and yellow, yeah. You know, but I mean, they're still not like. They're not too big. They're not overpowering your face. They don't make you look like a bug per se. No, no. Like that's that's I think the key to finding good-looking sunglasses is ones that fit your face shape. So if you have a round face, you probably want to go more square sunglasses. You have a square face, you want to go more round sunglasses, yeah. and just kind of contrast it. Because if you go round and round, it's just gonna look like a big circle. Yeah, you don't want that. No. And so next uh, we have these guys from Zero UV Classic Tortoise. Tortoise pattern. If you don't have a pair of tortoise, pick, no, I love so that. you got oh. to. It's like a necessity. And I mean, these ones are a little bigger, a little more for the beach vibe. But they're still not that big, dude. These are like a medium. So right, yeah. So I guess. Look at this guy. Huh? Don't wear your sunglasses inside either. It's a no-no. I mean, being from LA, we're so lucky. We have sun all the time, dude. Right. Uh, we're always. Yeah, I mean, there's sunglasses in my glove box, in, in the middle console of my car, <laughs> like, just in case, you know? Oh, yeah. I think your dog has sunglasses too, right? <laughs> yeah, of course, you know? <laughs> and then, lastly, we went with a more, like, a luxurious pair. These are by uh, Linda Faro, and basically, you know, they got the gold gold rims, kind of yeah. a little little flashy. Um, yeah, these are screaming Porsche. Right. Ex down. Exactly. No, these, these are great, and, I mean, you know, I think, well, I, I think an, an important thing when choosing your glasses, like George said, is you have to look in the mirror and honestly, you know, just see what, what kind of face you have. You know, people right. have round faces, square faces, long faces. Like me, I have like, like a light bulb head, so I'm like bigger on top and then small on the bottom, which is why I use more of a square yeah. sunglass, you know. From time to time, I use the round, but it has to be... The right one. Yeah. Right. And I mean, honestly, like like said, look in the mirror. Yeah. If it looks good to you... Chances are it's probably not terrible, you know? Like, if you yeah. feel good in them and you look good in them, that's really all that matters. And, um... I mean, just have fun with sunglasses, dude. It's true. I will give one piece of advice that you should spend money on at least one good pair of sunglasses. Because that, one, will teach you not to lose them, <laughs> and two, teach you how to take care of a good pair yes. of sunglasses. Yes. And one other thing that goes with sunglasses that's super important is always have a microfiber cloth with you. I mean, especially in the summer, it gets hot, brows get sweaty, you know, you'll, you'll get a little little condensation going on the inside, and you meet somebody, you want to just give them a yeah, quick, quick wipe. Important. Yeah, it's very Yeah, because if I see a dirty lens, I'm just focused on the lens, dude. And I don't care what you're saying, I'm just like, clean the lens. Yeah, guys, always carry a microfiber cloth with you. It's just good etiquette. Uh, that pretty much wraps up our favorite sunglasses. Uh, comment below, let us know what your, what your favorites were. Be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram, at Genslounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Genslounge, and uh, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks, guys. Thanks.